Nerd Alert! Hey there, Blackberry folks. I kind of want to take you back a little bit in time and talk about this, the, the BlackBerry 9900. I mean, overall, running OS 7.1, this is a slick, this is a slick phone. But what I kind of want to talk about more is the trackpad and how we navigate on a BlackBerry and how we used to. And, and yes, this phone has a touchscreen as well. But I really, really appreciate the trackpad on it. And I think the kind of sweeping gestures that you do on the trackpad to kind of navigate around websites, navigate menus and get around are very much trans transposed over to the BlackBerry Z10 where we have these kinds of sweeping motions. It's almost like your finger has become the trackpad for the glass. And they've designed the, the OS to be pretty friendly in that regard so that when what you would do here to kind of navigate through is pretty similar. I don't have any kind of pains on this uh, 9900, but you can kind of see what I mean. Transferring from here to here, especially if you've uh, experienced the previous BlackBerry touchscreens before, navigation is pretty understandable. Yes, there are some sweeping gestures from the BlackBerry logo up to start peak. And you're going to continue that over to the right, and you can get hub. A swipe down, we'll pull in your notif notification settings and things like that. But overall, it's pretty straightforward. What I kind of want to show off too is that what is BlackBerry Hub? All right, let's let's come over over here. BlackBerry Hub is your unified notification center for you know, your text messages, your emails, your Facebook, Twitter calls, and voicemail. It's pretty extensive. So pretty much what that kind of grants you is whenever you're in an application, you can swipe up and to the right, and you're in this that unified hub. You you have real time communications for all of these feeds right here in one place, and it's always just a swipe away if you're in an app if you're over in the app tray still just a swipe away it doesn't matter where you are another really interesting thing about kind of this this hub interface is that we kind of had something similar on blackberries already you notice as I t hit this second band here it drops down an aggregated list of my real-time notifications what blackberry has done is they've put this a gesture away and hub. It's all kind of the same same jive, same gist. They've really transposed a great OS onto an amazing operating system the Q, with QNX underneath. Another part of the navigation that I really love about the BlackBerry Z10 is this little app task switcher thingy right here. And iOS has something similar, but it's nowhere near as fluid or helpful as this is. You can tap into different pages really, really easily. See there. I can hop into the active frame area. And there's a little down arrow that shows me there are some applications down here. And then that arrow goes to the top over here when I scroll. You can also hop right into hub in one tap. So if you're not if you you don't have to always gesture into the hub, you can sometimes just click in. It's really truly up to you. But I'm gonna bring back the aggregated here you can slide between all of this super super easy and you can see as you type in the OS kind of shrinks a bit and kind of lets you slide through all, everything you've got going you can even look into hub and then slide right back out and it, it works all over the screen it's a really really neat slider and it allows you to get around BlackBerry 10 quickly you can truly see how fast the QNX uh, microkernel underneath is it just flies through really great stuff I'm digging it. I'm digging it. This is the BlackBerry Z10, everybody.